I am turning $5 into a car. We've been doing it for two weeks. We're now up to week three of this. In this video, you'll see week three and four of this project. And we have some amazing finds and some absolutely amazing sales. So stick along for the whole episode of this one. And I really do hope you guys enjoy. Okay, to start off the video, we've actually had two sales. We had initial D, which has gone for $65. We have to take out $9 in fees, uh, $2 in an ad fee, and then $5.50 in shipping that one off. And that's going to leave us with $48.43 to add to the budget. And then we've also had that Nintendo 2DS sell for $35. $4.99 going out in eBay fees, $1.16 in the ad fee, $7.50 for shipping on that one. That'll leave us with $21.35. And that brings a grand total to start off the video to $140-ish. It's right there on the screen. So that's how much money we've got to play around with this weekend. And hopefully we can get some more sales throughout the video. Wouldn't happen to have any like video games of any sort at all, no. I've only got DVDs. That's all right. Mm -hmm. How much did you have on the iPod? Honestly, because there's no charge, I'm not 100% sure if it works. Yeah, five, five bucks, yeah. yeah. Um, I can see, I'll grab that one, thanks. Yeah. Well, either way, that iPod Nano was an absolute score. What we want to do is look on the back there. We've got model A1446, I believe. Comps up here, 150 plus if we're looking at working. For parts, $50. I think this one should work. It's in really good nick. Will it work though? I don't know. We'll see later in the video if it's gonna work. But either way, five under 50, five under 150, it's gonna be some really great profits. Not a bad morning of garage sales. Got out of that street sale really fast, so busy. But now we're going off to some little ones and we're getting some good success. So um, not always about being with the crowd, Sometimes it's about, you know, finding your little bits and pieces when there's not as many people around. Games you got this one? Yeah, just yeah, those ones. Okay, as I'm editing this video, I realized I forgot to update everyone on the fact that the first week, these videos run over two weeks, uh, the market was rained out, so we actually didn't have a market. So now we're going to jump straight into the next week's flea market. Before we actually head out to that second week of flea markets, we've had, I think, five sales in between. Uh, the last update on sales. We had a Microsoft joystick that you saw me pick up for $10. Uh, we sold that one for $99.98 after fees and shipping. We left for $73.33. We sold a Mario Party 8 on the Wii that we bought for $5. That sold for $32.95. That leaves us with $21.65 after fees and post. Super Mario Wii also sold $27.96 I got for that one. $17.49 after fees and post. We also had Ben 10, which was $35 plus $20 international. And after fees and that postage, we are left with $24.87. Animal Crossing for the 3DS was the final one. That one sold for $29.66. And that will leave us with $18.91 left. So this will leave us with a grand total of $280.04 in the budget at the moment. And then we're going to head out and buy some stuff as well. Okay, we bought this one from Matt because we just don't make much money, <laughs> just to be honest. There's some better ones. Um, we'll talk about the dinosaurs later at home because they've got a great story. I don't care what anyone says, they're a good buy. Yeah, I don't know about that. We got a PS2 game, five and probably just under 30. That was a bad buy, we don't want to talk about it. But, That's just Super beat Mario you bag? to these ones. What's up? That's Super Mario bag, is that any interest? No. No? No. Okay. Is the interruption, 
Fitbit <laughs> charge for five bucks. It's not 500, as, much, as confusing as that was for me as well. And Fitbit Versa, we paid 10 on that one. I'm expecting probably about 120 out of both of them. And then this one. You look, walked right past it, didn't you? Didn't even know. I did. I walked right past it. Garmin. Oh. oh. The GPS here. Perfect part. It's already on, but. 120 to 150, I reckon I get for that one. Oh my paid goodness. For 30 bucks. Hey, I don't need your. Smart, Wait, is that a fish? Smart. Is it a fish finder? Uh, no, it's just like a general one. Oh, I think yeah, it's yeah. for like um, hiking. Ah. Oh. So. Yeah, as an avid hiker myself. Yeah. Hikes a lot. Yeah. This one. Smart clock two. Is it worth anything? Yes. About eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. So another one. We got this one a bit later on in the day. Some of the electronics that people just walk right past that, you know, it's worth. Just looking it up. And then this one here, it's just lost a wing. I have to chuck that back on. I reckon I get about 35 to 40 for him. Paid $7 for it. Probably a mid 90s, late 90s Dragon Ball Z Goku figure here. And I think just the angel wings gives it that extra value. And then we've got all those dinosaurs. I'm expecting about. Ah, that's 35, a secret. No, nah, I don't care. Not really care. 35 into about 200, I think I'll get out of those. I'm not going towards the past series though, because. A bit of an unpredictable buy that one, but we are at this much in the car series. Um, I haven't done the math yet, but we'll figure it out. And um, I think that's a wrap for the markets. I'm pretty happy with how we did. Gave some pity to Matt, found some good finds. We've got old mate recording, which is great. Oh, mate, do you want to check? I'll check your channel up on screen. Oh, cheers. He's, he's getting better, he's getting better. First stuff is unwatchable, to be honest. But. <laughs> Now I actually find some pleasure watching this stuff. So oh, great. Let's, um, let's chuck them a subscribe or two. But um, more content to come, mate. You got some more? Yeah, I'll get a video out soon, probably next week. Video out soon. He likes, to, he likes to do similar sort of stuff to me, so if you like what you're watching now, go check him out. You pretty much but, just um, copy Jamie, so. I mean, why wouldn't you, let's be honest? Yeah, the everyday flipper, you I can't. Think that's, a, that's a wrap for the day. Yep. Um, go say goodbye to Matt and then um, head home. question that I actually get asked all the time is where exactly did I learn everything I know about reselling? There's a bunch of different ways, but a great way is actually the sponsor of this video, flipweekly.com, an online newsletter email service that goes directly to your inbox. And it follows an amateur flipper, Matt, going through his journey of navigating through thrift stores and garage sales, looking for unique items to flip onto eBay. It's very similar to what I do on this channel here. There's a bunch of new and unique techniques and items he's purchasing. So if you're loving what you're watching right now and the videos that I provide, you can absolutely love the service over on flipweekly.com. So thank you guys for sponsoring this video and it's down in the description below. Matt is the bloke who runs it. He's an absolute champion of a bloke and uh, I just wanna thank them for sponsoring the video. But once again, link down in the description below, go check them out. Ooh, just before we end off the video, we've had four absolute monster sales. The iPod you saw me pick up at the start of the video went on to sell for $120. It was working in great condition. After fees and post, we'll be left with $96.08. The Garmin little GPS has also gone on to sell for $119.95, leaving us with $96.08 again. The Lenovo Smart Clock picked that one up for twenty dollars, and it's gone on to sell for eighty nine ninety five, leaving us with seventy dollars and nine cents after fees and postage. And then finally, the Fire Emblem game that we picked up in episode one, that one has gone on to sell for sixty two dollars, leaving us with forty seven dollars and eighty nine cents after fees and postage. This added to our car budget gives us a grand total of this much after four weeks of this. And I just want to thank everyone for all the support that I've been getting with the series. And uh, I hope you guys really enjoy it. And stay tuned for next episode because it's going to be some absolute heaters in that one as well. So thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below. Like the video. Comment what ute I should buy because I want to go for a ute. And uh, let me know um, what you want to see. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.